Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and this video is on the concept of expected value. The expected value of a gamble is the amount you can expect to win on average in the long run when you play a gamble. Suppose I offer to flip a coin. I give you $1 if it is heads, and you will give me $1 if it is tails. What is the expected value of this gamble? The expected value is $0. You lose $1 half the time and gain $1 half the time. Formally, given a gamble, the expected value E of X of the random variable X is a probability weighted sum of the potential outcomes. That is, we calculate the expected value by multiplying each possible outcome by the probability with which it occurs. We calculate the expected value of a gamble with n possible outcomes using this equation. E of X equals P1 X1 plus P2 X2 so on through to Pn Xn, or equals basically the sum of Pi Xi from I equals one through to N. So in this equation, Pi is the probability of outcome Xi. For those who are unfamiliar with the mathematical notation in the second line, the large symbol sigma allows us to write what could be a long expression much more succinctly. It means that we, can, that we sum the term Pi Xi for each value of I for one through to n. We sum pi p1 x1 with p2 x2 and so on until we reach pn xn. Breaking it down in this way shows that the second line is equivalent to what I wrote in the first line. I will now illustrate the concept of expected value with some simple examples. You're offered a bet with a 50% chance of winning $10 and a 50% chance of losing $8. The expected value of this gamble um, is starting with our uh, equation, uh, it expectation, expected a value of x, so the expected value is the sum of pi xi from i equals one through to n. In this case, we have i equals two. So, so that line becomes 0.5, 50% probability of winning $10 plus 0.5 times, uh, times the loss of $8. And working through that sum, we have an expected value of $1. Relating back to my earlier explanation of the summation symbol, here we have n equals two outcomes. We sum P1 equals 0.5 multiplied by X1 equals 10. And we sum that with P2 equals 0.5 multiplied by X2 equals eight. So suppose your chance of winning increases to 60%. Here, the expected value of the gamble, again, using the same formula, now equals 0.6 times 10 plus 0.4, so the now 40% chance of losing times the loss of $8, and that gives us an expected value of that gamble of $2.80. For our next example, you're offered a bet with a 50% chance of winning 50% of your wealth and a 50% chance of losing 40% of your wealth. The expected value of your bet, again, using the same formula, equals 0.5, the 50% times half your wealth, plus 0.5 times negative 40% of your wealth. And there, we put through the sum, we get 0.05W. The expected value is 5% of your wealth. 